this whole section here is knocked down. I'm going to try to straighten that out. How do you make that in this? <laughs> not pretty. That's a heart. It's a full one. Pull it out of the ground and you'll find out how not pretty it is. Is it hard to get out? It's that same one in the garden. <laughs> It's that one that's really sharp. Maybe she's not in labor. I don't know. What do you think? Her ligaments are still there. Okay. But babies can come, you know, they can come anytime. They can be, she can be ready to go quicker than we. I mean, they're pretty sunk. Look at that. And since this is our first time with her calving, we don't actually know what she looks like when she's fully ready. But I mean, look at that. And my hand's all the way down in there. This is the spot we're looking for right here though, right? There it is though, look at it. So I mean, I don't know, like I've never seen what she's like when she's about to have a baby. You know, some cows will go off as far as they can and have their baby. Some will be eaten and just drop their baby. I saw her standing out here in the back of the pasture, kind of with her head down a little and just standing really still, which she, she doesn't normally really do that. A lot of times she'll be laying or she'll be eating and she was just standing by the creek looking at us. I thought, well, maybe she's in labor. So we're just gonna be keeping a really close eye on her the next yeah. couple of days and the baby could come anytime. I honestly, if I was guessing, I think it'd be tonight or, really? or tomorrow. Yeah, but who knows, it's, you can't really tell. Her due date was yesterday, July 9th, right? That was yesterday, yeah. So yeah, it's anytime, but cows are funny. They're like people. They have a nine month gestation and they can be two weeks, early two weeks late. You may miss the birth. I might miss the birth. I, um, when y'all see this video, you'll have seen that I was just gone, but there's been a few days in between that video and today. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm actually gonna be out of town for a couple of days. I'm close enough no, though, no, Arthur, no, that if no, you need no, help, no, like no, you just no, call no, me and I'll no. come. The thing is, is her udder, usually when a cow's about to calve, their udder will be so full and tight. Um, and swollen and hers isn't but then again her udder is massive and kind of stretched out so maybe she doesn't get that full and tight. I was about to say it's garden time but I'm not sure if it is garden time look at these clouds they're rolling over us there's thunder way out here to the west we may be in for a storm it's garden time that's our new shirt I know we just published a new shirt or just came out with a new shirt whoa that shirts just for moms that one is mama tough as nails sweet as honey and I love that shirt but I'm never gonna wear that shirt and I, I like this one Brianna says it's too girly for me the final logo will actually be higher on the shirt that's available now, there's a link in the description. It's kind of silly, the sense of humor, the plain words, but I have a silly sense of humor, so I like it. Hey guys, we gotta get out of, we gotta get off this hill. All right, just check that squash and zucchini, pick what there is, and then we'll run, go down to the camper. This is the project we were gonna do, but the rain's coming. Bree and I weeded this whole, basically quarter of the garden yesterday. Oh, way too high. Come here. Oh, thank ya. And here is, I think our first full-size zucchini. Good-size zucchini. All right, guys, let's get out of here. The wind just hit. It's probably gonna start pouring in a minute. Can't tell, though. These green were only on one plant. Those clouds are wild. They're just dancing up there. They're the kind of clouds that you think, uh, oh, we should maybe listen for tornadoes or watch for tornadoes. Except we don't have tornadoes here, so many of y'all may not know that, but we're pretty much completely protected, protected from tornadoes by the mountains. The mountains break up that type of storm and give us this huge level of protection, so that's nice. It's, it's only 5.30, there's plenty of time to garden for a couple hours out there, and we may still get out there, or I might still get out there, but it is raining hard, and that thunder and lightning is very close and the garden site is on top of the mountain we try not to sit up there in these close thunderstorms i'm putting on hot water we're making pesto pasta we're gonna eat that squash and zucchini maybe we'll get out there after supper time we'll see i can't pronounce it 
Rigatoni. I think this is the first squash we've eaten from our garden. These plants are just big enough to wrap your arms around and yet they're producing quite a bit. So I've got a question for you. I want to hear about this in the comments because I know this is something that a lot of y'all grow. What's your favorite way to eat yellow squash or yellow squash? What's your favorite way to eat it? I, a lot of folks around here, tops out in the region, I would say is fried. And I love it fried. But I also, I like it boiled, I like it fried, I like it in casserole, I like it in what we call hash, our breakfast extravaganza with everything mixed together, meat and everything. For this big zucchini, this is kind of past, I mean we should be eating it like this, but we're still going to eat it. You're not a fan of zucchini? What? Justice has given us a thumbs down. You want pasta, you're going to eat some zucchini, that's how it works. It's a little tough, isn't it? It's not real easy to slice. Careful, just don't chop your fingers. Good work. Did the geese eat the squash? The boys are going out to give some of the bigger chunks of zucchini and we're not gonna cook it all tonight. It's, just, we're, it's too much for us. And zucchini is the kind of thing that there'll be more of it. So we don't think twice about throwing the leftovers out to the chickens. Did you get all the eggs? I got this one, this one, oh, this one, and this one. Are there any more in there? No. Checked every nest. Is, are there any under that chicken? Well, I don't think so because I couldn't see it. We'll have to check under her, okay? We'll try this pasta. Can I try it? Hmm. <clears throat> okay, the food's ready. We're gonna eat a quick supper and then we'll get out back outside to the garden, our evening chores. Bree's been gone a couple hours. She's calling me. Hey, how are you? Huh? You having a good time yet? Good. Dad, can I tell mom? Bye bye. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Brian wants to tell you something. Bye, mom. I love you. Okay, I love you. Have a good night. We'll let you know if anything happens with the cow. Okay, now it's garden time. Let's try to see if we can get this job done. This is how I like to trellis tomatoes. This is my top number one way to trellis tomatoes. It makes it really easy and simple to trellis these extremely tall productive plants, keeps them off the ground, and allows them to grow up really high. In this case, we can go up eight feet high almost. This garden is looking amazing. Look at these beans. They're rocking. They're about to start producing. And look at this corn. It, it's as best, it's as good as it's ever looked. Some of it just got knocked down in that storm though. Sometimes you can straighten corn out and save the stalks by straightening them up and putting dirt around the base. Sometimes it doesn't work and they've broken off to the point where you can't save them. But I, I've been able to save them before, so. A big storm like that can just tear them out of their fairly shallow roots. This whole section here is knocked down. I'm going to try to straighten that out. How is a storm like, can a storm like that um, knock down corn? Like the this? storm knocks down the corn because the soil is so soft that the roots can come out easily. And then the wind comes and blows really hard and the, and the rain hits the corn and just... It, the roots just shift and lift on one side. That's how, buddy. But I'm not bunking the camera. Thanks for not bunking the camera. Bunk, bunk. Oops, broke that one. Up. You're not bunking the camera. Thanks for not bunking the camera. I won't. I think we got it all straightened for now. Like this. Here's your next job. It's kind of the same job we just did, getting plants up off the ground. We're gonna trellis these tomato plants in a, with a method that I really don't like, but this is just necessary because they're flopping. And we're gonna trellis them up and prune them back. Hi. 
in addition to having flopped down on the ground, these things are just way overgrown. So what I'm going to do with each plant is fairly aggressively and quickly prune them, make a pile. As I tie them to the post, I want, to, I want the rope to be tight around the post, so I'm going to tie a square knot to the post, but then I want it to be loose around the plant. I don't want to pin the plant another square knot, but that'll hold tight on itself so that it's loose around the plant. The reason I don't like training on a single post like this, especially a wooden post, is that usually by the end of the season, if your plants are really heavy with tomatoes, the posts will have started rotting on the lower end and they, they just often can't bear the weight. A metal T-post would work great. And you're also very limited just in height of the plant. I think I cut out as, about as much as I left on those tomato plants, but I'm not worried about it at all. I'm gonna throw it outside the garden. We don't want the bacteria that thrive and breaking down specifically tomato plant material um, that can cause blight to proliferate in the garden, especially under the tomato plant. So I just like to throw this outside the garden. I don't know if that's evidence-based or not, but it makes sense to me. So we'll just throw it out into this area, which actually is really pretty up here. Look at this. I weeded it up here recently. It's a real pretty area that we don't show you very much under these Melanthus trees up here. Okay, we met our goal, which was getting every leaf of the tomato plants off the ground. That's what I wanted to do. This is the simplest way, but I feel like it's just a far inferior way to stake tomatoes, but it does work. While I was doing that job, this evening has developed into an incredibly beautiful scene. That's a big mustard plant and it's just beautiful green and it's taller than the baby. It's about, look how tall that plant is next to you. It's huge. We're about to go into the house. I'm taking one last look at Alice the cow before we go in. I've been watching her all day from a distance, either from the garden or from the camper or from the yard. I will check her late tonight, right before I go to bed. And then I'll check her first thing in the morning because I'd like to be around for it or at least there as soon as possible afterwards to make sure she's okay. Are you guys ready to go inside? No. You tired? No. Hey, do you want to hold that cow skull? Yeah. Do you want to hold it? It's a dead semi. Bubba, Bubba, come see where he shot it. Uh, what, what do you think uh, about that? That's a cow. Ah. <laughs> ah. Hold it up so it's over your head, so it looks like that's your head. No, oh, it's just cool. You can see all the way through the back of the skull and then see the bullet entry point where that's the cow was butchered. No brain anymore. It's a little stinky back there though. It's not completely clean. Put the cow skull back up. Watching over the garden. Last chicken out. Put it in. Hopefully this will last. Actually there is one more. There is? Okay, put it in. I found my dirt. You can give her the hay. Yep. You don't have to eat through the fence. There's plenty inside. Well guys, thank you so much for joining us today. I really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed coming along. It's been another great day on the homestead. We'll see you in tomorrow's video and maybe we'll have a calf to show you. We will see. Come on. I know, it's still time for bed. Where's my dog? I don't know. Where's my dog? I don't know where your gun is.